Hi gang, Scott here. This week on the channel, I'm doing a short series on Luminar. So I'll share a few Luminar tips this week, and today is the Smart Contrast Slider. I think a slider is overlooked, and I want to highlight it for you and show you why I think it's so useful. Before I show you Smart Contrast, I do want to mention I have a new video course out on Luminar. It's called Luminar Start to Finish eight start to finish editing tutorials, practice images are included, and a couple of mini courses that talk all about the masking tools and all about layering in Luminar. So if you're a Luminar user, sounds interesting to you, check the link below and hopefully you'll pick up the course. So smart contrast. Now this is, this is AI. It just doesn't have AI in the name. So AI is sprinkled all throughout Luminar. I want to show you this photo here. This is one that comes with the start to finish course. And I've applied a look to it. It looks very nice. I'm going to hold the backslash key down so you can see this is the original and just a simple single click Luminar look got me very, very far. On the right hand side, over in the Essentials panel, in the Light tool, we have this Smart Contrast slider. It has not been touched. And I'm just going to introduce uh, I mean, 25, 30% contrast and that's it. And that has such a dramatic improvement on the photo before, after, it's, it's subtle, yet it's not subtle, and it is quite intelligent. And many of the Luminar looks take care of things like the you know AI Enhance, the Accent, the Sky Enhancement. We, you know, we see that here in AI Enhance. This was added by the look. And in this case, there was actually some things added in the Light tool, Highlights and Shadows, but Smart Contrast wasn't touched. And it's worthwhile to take a peek at that slider. Just add 25, 30 as a starting point, and it really does have a, a great impact on your photos. So smart contrast, it's got AI underneath it, just because it doesn't have AI in the name, doesn't make it any less smart. Hope you found the tip useful. Got questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.